case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The murky waters of contract law were navigated in the 1983 case of Alaska Northern Development Inc. and versus Alyeska Pipeline Service Company, heard by the Alaska Supreme Court. Central to the dispute was the admissibility of parole evidence, which the court stated is not permissible if the written agreement is partially integrated and any extrinsic evidence contradicts this integrated writing. The saga began when And and Alyeska entered into talks regarding And's intent to purchase a surplus of parts from Alyeska. A letter of intent was sent from And offering to buy the entire stock of parts. But significantly, the crucial detail of price was left blank. Alyeska responded with a second letter of intent. However, this letter, too, remained silent on the price, and further stipulated that any potential agreement was subject to the final approval of Alyeska's owner committee. Subsequently, a price was agreed upon and the letter of intent was signed off. Yet, the roller coaster took a sudden dip when the owner committee abruptly rejected the proposal. Feeling wrongly done by, Anne launched a lawsuit against Alyeska, alleging breach of contract. The court rejected Anne's request to introduce extrinsic evidence to shed light on the owner committee's role. Instead, it granted Alyeska's motion for summary judgment, discontented and sought relief through an appeal. Unfortunately for Anne, the higher court reinforced the original decision. They held that the original letter of intent from December 11, 1976, which was instrumental for both parties in obtaining financing and board approval, was partially integrated and the excluded parole evidence stood in contradiction to the agreed terms. The court found no ambiguity within the relevant term, and hence deemed any extrinsic evidence inconsistent. Therefore, Alyeska dodged the breach of contract claim, adding another contour to the complex world of contract law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.